hello friends my name is ashish so in this video i am going to show you how to resolve an issue of inactive leaf and spine devices in aci simulator so to be able to run aci simulator you need to have a big server we should have large number of resources enough cpus enough ram and storage as you can see that I have installed ESXi version 7.0 and I have two ACI versions installed in my ESXi. First one is 5.2.5c and second one is 5.1. I have observed that a lot of people are facing the issue of inactive leaf and spine switches and there is no solution being offered by most of the people. Assuming that you have allocated enough resources as per the Cisco documentation. I'm assuming that you have installed the appropriate ESXi version on your server and you're using bug free ACI simulator. Like I'm using 5.2.5c and 5.1. You can use either of these. Let's get started. Let's run this one and uh, let us see what happens next so we'll also see how to install it so i have powered on this aci dash ashish virtual machine you can download the file it's a very big file 102 gb you need to have appropriate level of authorization to be able to download the files and files can be downloaded in uh, eight parts and later on you can concatenate Let's click on this one. It is saying do you want to use large topology or small? You can use either of large or small because I have allocated enough resources. That is not an issue. Uh, you can see 300 GB of storage. Yeah, 28 vCPU and 128 GB of RAM. That is okay. So it is saying now uh, enter the fabric name. I suggest you keep it default. You don't need to change it else it will give issues. Fabric ID same number of active controllers three standby no hit enter. These things you don't need to change not even the controller name. So this tap that is tunnel endpoint VXLAN tunnel endpoint address range. No don't change it because the leaf and spines will be getting the IP from this range including the AP controller when it communicates with the fabric right VLAN ID 4 must not be changed this you know bridge domain multicast address no don't change it out of band management for IPv6 no I don't need uh, I need to define the IPv4 address as per my Wi-Fi gateway network which is 192.168.100. Uh, let's make it 31 slash 24 and uh, since i want to communicate with the outside world including the internet so i need to define the ip address of my wi-fi router as the default gateway here deep uh, duplex and speed need not be changed strong password let's make it uh, yes it doesn't accept the admin as the password for your information Okay, now it tells you that all of the changes have been uh, accepted. Do you want to add it before it proceeds to push the config over to APIC? I have pressed no, which is enter, right? So it is now done. So after five minutes time, uh, you will see that uh, it will be accessible. That is the IP address. So, and also note that uh, you cannot do any data plane testing in this uh, simulator it is only for you know configuring all of the objects components performing the rest api calls only the control plane work can be done so this is the ip address it is saying bad gateway give it around uh, one two minutes more and after that it will become accessible to uh, us so let's wait let me go to that esxi it is prompting me it takes around five minutes sometimes to become fully functional okay looks like at least the name is coming here ip address is coming here admin is the username password i know it will not accept because we have not waited yet for five minutes okay you can see that it has logged in let's click on the let's go so it talks about the features 
so i was telling you that 5.2 bracket 5c this is the simulator version and these things you can refer i don't want to consume and waste your time so i will show you the inactive state so we need to go to fabric fabric membership and uh, register nodes it shows zero because we have not yet done anything so it has discovered first leaf using lldp the first leaf connects to epic number one that is our uh, this one so i'm going to give it node id 101 and the name will be leaf 101 rack you may choose the default it is a leaf click on the register and the spine connects to leaf so once it shows in the registered nodes ideally its state should be active uh, but it will not be uh, active it will go into the inactive state uh, then it will discover the spine let's wait for some time then this leaf will move to this section you see that it has moved from this pending section to this one so it is in discovering state keep on refreshing or else wait let me see if it has discovered any spine or not not yet and uh, let's go to this topology section once you click on this one and go to topology you should be able to see the connections uh, with the epic one which is the epic controller it doesn't show it means that uh, the leaf at least has not come up you see that it is showing in inactive state sometimes what happens that we need to wait for a few minutes then it changes from inactive to active but uh, i don't see it happening the reason is known to me now you can see that uh, since it's a large topology so this has discovered two spines let me quickly configure these spines spine 201 and this this one i'll make it uh, 202 the state is not showing as active these two will also join this leaf and will remain inactive okay so this is the issue even if you wait for 30 minutes the issue will not resolve if you go to cli mode of the ap controller you will see these uh, you know leaf and spine that is the fabric discovery will show as inactive let these two come and then i will tell you the reason you can see that the spine 201 is also showing as inactive fourth one will be leaf uh, it will also meet the same fate okay so now you see all three are in inactive state and this is the most unfortunate part so now i'll tell you the solution to it let me take you to this uh, esxi let me close this one resources wise obviously you need to have enough resources but this, the resources are not the reasons for it now let me show you how to resolve this issue you go to your esxi hypervisor click on the host you see the time the time it is showing as 2005 but uh, i had installed this esxi on this date right so and the software of this simulator that is ac simulator it must have been built in 2018 or 19 right so let's first try to change the time of this hypervisor and see if it helps or not so let's go to manage go to system click on this time and date you see that the services have been stopped the current time it is showing as 2005 so let me click on this added ntp settings uh, one option is that you manually change the date the second is that uh, you define the ntp server like in this case i picked up one public ntp server and uh, the option is start and stop manually or with the host or with port usage will make it start and stop uh, with the host like whenever you power on the host it will automatically start so I, i've defined the ntp server here I've clicked on the uh, save now, but uh, does it solve the issue? No, it doesn't solve the issue, right? So we'll go to manage again. We'll go to services. We'll search for the NTP services. It see you see that it is stopped. You can start this policy. Uh, I mean services. Then it'll it'll start running. 
it says running now let's go to this host and uh, see the timing timing is showing as right otherwise the option to change it manually is always there in your hand right go to this one make it manually whatever you want to do it right so this one is okay but uh, if you change the time will it automatically solve your issue let us see that this aci dash ashish vm is still on let me go here and refresh it so let me do one thing let me close all this mess that is let me power off this aci ashish and uh, we need to start again so now it is getting started it will take around five minutes for me to uh, set it up so i'll pause this video here and we'll take you right on the main topic right and also note this compatibility with 5.1 so minimum version of the hypervisor should be 5.1 right so i'm pausing this video i will be setting up the same things and then we'll see if it solves the issue or not everything so this one has started so i'll quickly take you to the fabric section and fabric membership nodes pending registration i'll click on the leaf to register it i'll not take your much time leaf dash 101 uh, rack name is not mandatory this one is uh, done so ideally now it should be um, you know getting registered and show us the state as active okay the good news is there the state is active okay so now this is showing us that there are two uh, spines i want to give the names as spine 202 to this one and spine 2012 and friends do take a look at the description of this course to know more about me and what i do so surely these two will also go into the, into the active state let me show you the topology and you will see a leaf connected to this apic controller okay so bear with me for a few more seconds okay so we have got a very beautiful site all the devices in this uh, ac simulator these are showing as active two spine and two leaf okay so while these were getting discovered i had configured one more leaf without wasting your time all right so our topology is ready what was the resolution we modified the time okay the time must be accurate it must not be before the uh, creation of the software you are running nobody has mentioned this thing it is important that you verify this thing right let's check that uh, log and see if we have any kind of uh, timeline yeah now the time is showing us 2024 which is accurate so thank you so much and do take a look at the description there is a link which uh, belongs to my website take a look in that right and please comment if it has resolved your issue i will be more than happy to see your comment and like and subscribe as well thank you so much for your time and have a nice day